Hey, how y'all doing, man? Uh, we here with uh, Coco uh, Blaylock's uh, Chop It Up with Coco. Uh, I got a special guest here today. I got a guy who means a lot to me and a whole uh, Laker uh, organization. Uh, I got Mr. Uh, Dan Knip uh, with us today. Uh, first off, I want to say thank you, Dan, for being on uh, my Chop It Up with Coco. Uh, this is really, really personal to me after so many years, man. We've been talking a lot for the last month or so, and it just it felt good, man. So I've been reaching out to all the guys. You've been helping me out with that. Uh, you did something real special. But the first thing that I want to thank you for, man, is this, man. Um, without you, a lot of this couldn't have happened. Uh, you've done an amazing job with, you know, uh, grabbing guys, getting them, pulling them, being like the spearhead of, of what we was doing. You was the captain of the team back then, and uh, you definitely showed that leadership now. But um, I want to thank you, man, so much for being able to put up some footage uh, uh, of all the guys, man. You know, like we've all been going on for so long. And uh, just out the blue, man, I decided to sit back and run through my life um, uh, like a small bio slash documentary of the people that meant a lot to me. You're definitely one of those guys. So I wanted to bring you up and talk about you, man. So I want to celebrate these people who had an amazing uh, impact in my life. Even when I went and played uh, college football and played pro football for so long, I felt like when I made it, we all made it. And so I knew y'all probably followed me a little bit, you know what I mean, and things like that. So that's just my mindset. So talking about Iowa Lakes, man, I wanted the, uh, the world to know, like, where I enjoyed my most time. Like I said, college football, Division One football was great. Um, playing pro football was great, but there was nothing like Iowa Lakes. So the first thing I want to thank you for, man, is being able to rally the, rally the troops up together, man, and uh, put together something that's so special to me. This means more to me than anything I've ever done, anything I've ever accomplished or was given. I'll give it and trade it for what you've done uh, with us with highlights and just the team. And man, and the team was so strong. Golly, this was the best team that I played on, um, period, by far none. Mm -hmm. So the, the one thing I wanted to uh, uh, thank you for, man, is this, man, me and the guys talked and I just, in general, I asked them this question. I said, uh, I talked about how I came to Iowa Lakes and things like that. But one thing I'll tell you, man, that I never heard and no guy never heard it. And I applaud you, the players, I applaud the community of Esterville, the coaches, everybody there, man, for never letting that N-word come out. I never heard it at games, uh, in the community, parties. I never heard one person get mad or one person in the community say, in niggers. You know, I never heard it. So, you know, we say nigga with each other playing, but I never heard that from y'all, man. But what I thank you a lot for, you was the, the, the ringleader. You was the spearhead. Like, you welcomed us in, man. You didn't see color, man, and you did all those different things. So... I would like to hear out of your words, man, uh, uh, what it meant to you and what you remember most, Mr. Dan Knipp, man. He did it all. <clears throat> well, it, you know, kind of, you know, I'm glad that that, that that community was as welcoming as, as we would have wanted it to be. Um, it was new to us as well. Um, you know, and we were, just, we were just boys hanging out. And we were boys, all of us were. We were guys, we were buddies. We partied together. We, had, we worked hard together. And we had, a, we had a common goal. And that, that goes a long way in this world. And, Yep. You know, going back to getting all this together, I was really glad to get re-energized. I'd, I'd had that CD and I'd had that film for a little while. And then once we got talking and probably, you know, the progression in technology and being able to get it to where we were going, yep. I was having some, you know, running into some roadblocks with that in the early times. Right. I tried to get it uploaded and downloaded right. and all that. And, um, so it yeah, it took me about, it took, it took me about, uh, it took me one computer, had to get it loaded on a, one computer that was older. Had to thumb drive it over to my computer. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then um, I had to get it encoded and downloaded into a, a, a movie maker. And then uh, had to get it uploaded to uh, YouTube. So yeah. that all took, I mean, I wasn't sitting there staring at it all day, but there was computers working most of the day yesterday. Uh, I was finally glad to get, that's a, probably about three weeks of different times trying to do this. Thank you, I was man. glad to get it up to where everybody could see it. Thank you. Um, and, and really, it was the first time in a while that I've got I've gotten to watch that game. The the first time I've ever watched that game is when it, when that uh, when Coach Hale had sent it to me. Right after we were up for the induction. Shout out to him too, man. Shout out to Coach done. for that, man. Thank you so much, Coach. <clears throat> yeah, that was great because I I didn't know if he would, and a couple months later, uh, it showed up uh, at my address at my my office here and. So I popped it in, but it was really hard to see. Um, as you guys can tell, that, that video is older, and my gosh, the guys. No, it don't matter, man. Down. It don't matter. It's that brotherhood. <laughs> we got a chance to see who we wanted to see. You can't really see numbers that good, but we know who it is, and that's all that matters to us, man. Yeah, it was great. And, you know, and, uh, you know, we were kind of talking earlier about that, and 
man, some scrappy guys on that oh, team. Man. I mean, yes. defensively, insane. Defensively, always around the ball. I yep. mean, there'd be there'd be nine guys around the ball all yep. the time. Yep. Yep. Hey, I want to say this, man. I want to say um, for that hard work, man. Thank you for that. But I want to talk about you, man. Um, you you was one of the guys that covered my back. I was I played running back. Obviously, you played line. You played D line. You played them wherever they needed us. And that's what made that team so great is that guys played wherever they needed to play to make that team great. And that's one why this team was by far my best team that I played on throughout my Division One career, pro football career. This team had no egos. This team wasn't selfish. This team did whatever it took for the Iowa Lakes Lakers to win. So, like I said, with you, you covered my back, man. I had, man, I was, I think I was top three in the nation in rushing. Um, it was everybody. It wasn't just the Coco Blaylock show. You, Brad, all those guys, the linemen, man, all those guys, man, I, I, the linemen never getting no credit, man. And like I said, I was real quiet and real closed. But, man, the best feeling for me is when I scored and you big boys came down to celebrate. No matter how tired you was, I got there because of y'all. And I, I made people miss, and I got up in there real quick. I wasn't playing around with it. But, man, you were so important to me, Dan, because me and Brad was talking and me and Carl was talking. It was like, Dan Kniff didn't give up about nothing. He hit anybody. He fight with anybody. And that's another thing, man. Our defense was the best to me, and we're going to have to talk about what, what defense they probably was. I'm going to be honest with you. I compared them after watching it a little bit and just thinking back. Of, the thing is, it was a show for me to watch them. Nobody couldn't get first downs. We was loaded on the D-line. We was loaded at linebacker. We were loaded in the secondary. We was <clears> big <throat> all the way around. And the thing about that, we competed against those guys. We didn't have, like, extra guys. Like, we didn't have, like, 50 yeah. guys. We had the starting offense, the starting defense, and a few that plugged in, and we competed – Every day, and that defense ended up by the end of that bowl game being number two defense in the nation. But you and a lot of those linemen, it goes unnoticed, man. No one recognizes the things that y'all do. Y'all do the dirty work. Y'all don't get in the newspaper. No one knows about y'all. They just remember Coco Blaylock. So from bottom of my heart, man, thank you a lot, man, and all those guys that paved the way and opened up those doors and made me uh, the man, which I really didn't care about that then. I just loved my best feeling that I would get chills is when I was scoring. You big boys would run y'all's ass down there, man, and, and celebrate with me, man. To me, that was the best feeling in the world, man. Talk about uh, you on being on that line and, and fighting anybody and being a nasty son of a gun. And you was a great guy off the field, but on the field, you had to be nasty. Talk a little bit about where that comes from, man. What made you such a nasty dog dude like that on the football field? Because you was one of the best. Man. Well, <laughs> well, I, I, uh, I've kind of, as I've gotten older, I, I, I look at that as more of an uh, walk softly, carry big stick kind of mentality. But there you go. You know, going back to you know, kind of where I was and, and what you said about the defense. I mean, absolutely. Imagine, imagine going up against that defense as an man. offense every single practice. <laughs> And then going up against Brad Hunt, Calvin oh, Lacey, man. you got Ruff, and you got Ronnie Barr back there on the on the you know linebackers. Man, to block those guys, you had to get you were going to get better, or you yeah. know, or it was a bad practice. It wasn't much fun, you know. It was competitive. Um, so that that part of it, that part of it, you know, was um, that that's what made the team. You know, when you've got two teams that are battling, you know, and then you know, and all we got to do up front is really give you just a little bit of space. You know, even uh, I don't know how many people I've been coaching football for about 20 years and and staying on blocks and giving a guy like yourself some room to run and that's do tough. what he does. That's the most important thing, because, I mean, if we can stay in their face long enough that you can get you can make a move or decide where to go or see the yeah. lane. My gosh, you're gone, you know, and then yeah. once you get an open field, you're not going to catch you. So, right. I mean, you were the Appreciate that. you were probably one of the top two fastest people I ever saw in person. Timmy Thank Dwight has been. The only other comparable to that, right. you know, and he he uh, he did some things, and he was an Iowa kid as well. But yeah, you're, you're that's top two guys I've ever seen on the field. Is, is I appreciate fast that, you. So I mean that you know, and then and then that goes back. You know, you're talking about those big boys running downfield and getting to the ball, yeah. and that's that's what this team did really well. Look, if I, after looking at the highlight film and going back and looking at this game. That we were running to the whistle all the yes. time, you know. And yes. And everybody if you was there. If you, if you and stood around, you get put on your, you know what? <laughs> if yeah, you I stood mean, around, you got hit. Yeah, because well, and, and you go back, you know, because you're running, and Tim, and uh, Timmy Moore's running as fast. You know, you guys are running hard, so we're willing to play because if you keep running, we're going to keep running, and that's kind of the mentality that we that it looks like we had. I had no idea if we had that at the time. I was yeah. just doing what what uh what we've always done, and I think yeah. we had a lot of guys like that too. Um, as far as where that mentality comes, 
um, you know, you, you deal with guys that wrestle. Um, right. I say it all the time to my, my younger guys. Wrestlers have a mentality that they just, they don't like to quit. Right. And that we, we had a lot of that going on in our team. There you go. Makes sense. Uh, with that being said, man, uh, you know, there's a lot of other guys that you had, you know, play ball with and grew up. Uh, Tim Moore was amazing, man. Um, he, he, he shared everything with me. Um, you know, I got a lot of uh, uh, um, props, but he was he was just as good, man. He just, you know, that duo we had was pretty damn good, man. And like I said, you know, we coasted a good job of letting us just jail. You know what I mean? Let the best be the best. Yeah. There was never no, like, uh, uh, what I love about the team, man, on offense and defense, there was never no jealousy. There was never no envy of who scored all the points. I mean, we had an overall complete package team. And to me, yeah. that's why this was the best team <laughs> that I had played on, man. And so, you know, I I'm telling you like this, man, tell me who was – the hardest to block, and it ain't no shot at nobody, man, because they were all tough to block. But I'm going to tell you who uh, uh, didn't get a lot of credit as well, man, that he was a bad, bad son of a gun. Ron Barr, man, Lord have mercy. He hit him and rough, and that linebacking crew, man, I'm telling you, like I said, you can compare him to, like I said, the 2000 Ravens, and I'm not exaggerating. Hey, fans, uh, once we get done with all this, the footage don't lie. You know, we were in Iowa. Uh, I think we ended up playing in the bowl game and winning the, winning the bowl game, probably like top 10 or something like that. Played the number 14 Harper that was in the number four on defense in the nation. Yeah. And it was in a, uh, on turf, and I had never played on turf. And they were good. Like, it was a battle, man. Them boys was well coached. They were big. They were strong. Uh, they thought they won the game. They was cocky coming out there talking, and we ain't talked too much. But we got out there and showed them. But the thing is, we wanted to play COD. No disrespect to them. They were number one in the nation. Uh, they were undefeated for three years in a row. Uh, we wanted that. And what I love about that bowl game, I remember just like yesterday, Dan, is this. Uh, eyes don't lie. That's one thing I can tell you about the guys on our team. Them eyes didn't lie. And like I said, you know, I look in guys' eyes, and you could just see who really wanted to play and who didn't. And I didn't see. The whole team was excited to be there. We was playing with borrowed money. The reason we was playing with borrowed money is because you remember this very well. Iowa Lakes Community College Lakers, we had won some games in 30 years, man. We beat teams we had never beat in 30 years. We were so scrappy, and we were so hungry, and we were so team-oriented. There was nobody, one person ego bigger than nobody's, and that's why we were so, so good. But, man, talk about them linebackers, man. Those big old secondary, man. We had Carl Ritchie that was 6'1", 200. Steve Snell that was 6 feet, 200. Kerry, they was big back there. You know what I mean? Linebackers, like it was the combination of the perfect storm to me. And so for you to find them highlights to show the world, because we could talk about these guys and people be like, oh, they just blowing smoke. They're just giving their guys props. But when they go cut this highlight tape on and see us, see that defense smacking people's heads off, they was relentless, man. They was hurting each other. I'm just thankful that I don't know how I went through the season playing against that defense and made every game. <laughs> talk about you gotta, that. You gotta go you got to go quick whistles and practices, you know, to save the guys on offense. But those guys, no doubt about sure. it. I mean, um, the, the, you started that out with the heart, one of the hardest guys to block. Um, I'm going against Brad Hunt 90% of the time in practice. He is telling you. Uh, it was, it was, Brad should have played on Sundays, man. Technique. Yeah. And then, you know, you talk about Ruff was, Ruff was tough because Ruff wasn't that big of a dude. You know, so he 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 was a lot faster than I was. So I had to have the right angle on him to right. have a chance. You know, yeah. I got I, I don't I don't have that I don't have that kind of twitch speed that he had. Um, and he was so, smart. well, you got to be smart when you're smart. slow and not athletic. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so I mean, those guys, you know, we've talked about that a little bit, and and that's that's the great thing is we we were able to get a lot better. Um, because you know we had we had some a lot of pride in what we did, and, and yep. some of that is that's all we knew. Yeah. We weren't we weren't we weren't high educated guys because if we were, we would have been at a different college, probably. Absolutely correct. But you know we were all in the same boat in that sense. That funneled us down to where high school and, and going to school wasn't wasn't our best suit, but playing football sure as hell was. You Absolutely know what I mean? Correct, and going after you each other, no better. Absolutely correct. Physical. We knew the physical side of things, and so um, and then you mix in. Guys, that, that that's man, that, that's all they got right now going on, and and um, you know, I was one of them at the time. I, I didn't know what I was going to do in life, and right, I didn't even know hell when I left there what I was going to do in life. But <laughs> what I, all I knew was it was simple, man. I mean, football, football is simple it, it, to a certain extent, and and uh, just playing hard all the time is going to do a lot of good things. And I think I think that was probably one of the best things we had going for us. 
Um, with that being said, man, like I said, man, I, I really want to thank you, man. I'm sure a lot of these guys are going to hear this, and they're going to thank you as well, man. You was a great teammate, A+. Uh, you did everything the right way. Uh, you know, me and the guys talked about a little bit about y'all welcoming us into that community. Uh, we was blessed with so much talent, man, and I love the chemistry of that team, man. There was no self-egos. It wasn't about me. It wasn't about anybody. But like I said, we celebrate everything, man. And like I said, I really appreciate your friendship. I appreciate you being on that team. I appreciate everything you did for us. And like I said, man, I was the best team uh, that I played on. I'm going to get to my college, uh, Division One college uh, 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 episodes after this. And a lot of those guys going to be a little butthurt, maybe, but I really don't care for the simple fact that I know I'm very honest and real. But after you, you really can't make that decision until after you go through your career. And when you sit back and look at your career, man, I really, really couldn't mm -hmm. wait to keep in touch with y'all, talk about certain things and talk about this, uh, talk about where we all came from. Well, and, and I think, I think, it, it was a, it was a know, quick adjustment a, for both, for y'all and us, because y'all had never been around so many, you know, black men, and we had never been around so many white folks. And just that love, man, and like, <laughs> that's the part that I just, that, that right there was made goosebumps on my next stand up is because the love yeah. was like given. We came in and right now, y'all was like, come on, man, let's do it. And we looking like, um, where we come from, they don't do that. So it was just like, <laughs> wow, no, I couldn't like believe that. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Well, and you know, and you talk about you, you hit on two things there that that are great as when you're growing up and you're and you're young is one is, and I've seen this happen with other with other teams is we don't know we don't even know what we're accomplishing at that time. You know what I mean? We don't know. Um, that's why it's almost more fun to go look at that, look back at it right now because at the time we're just playing hard. We don't even know that it's going to be the best team you've ever been on. And yet you, you're expecting to go on and do greater right. things. And then you look back and, and for so many other reasons other than just football, right? it's one of the best teams we've ever been on, right? right. So, I mean, we achieved, we achieved a pretty good thing. We, did, we were pretty good. Um, but at the same time, the reason it's one of the best spots for probably you and myself and, and a lot of guys that were on that team is because it was for all yeah. the outside reasons, for all yeah. the other things that were going Freedom. on. And that's – that's kind of the fun that you can never, I don't think you can ever see that in the, t in the moment, yes, you know, sir. especially at that age. I don't know that you do. You don't? Yep. But awesome to look back on. Yeah, man. Like I said, man, Connect, man, I really appreciate you, man. Um, I wanted to really talk with you, man. And like I said, it meant so much to me, man. And like I said, a lot of guys don't thank you themselves. We're going to exchange numbers, man. And maybe down the road, we can find a way to get to all to get together, man. But from the bottom of my heart, man, I want to thank you, man, for having my back. Uh, as my one of my linemen, as one of my teammates, as one of my captains, you was the captain of the team, and you always led with by example, man. You never asked us to do anything you wouldn't do yourself, and you put the team before yourself, man. That was the one thing that I noticed about you right off the bat. And I want to thank your parents and everybody that brought you up, man, just for the simple fact that it starts from somewhere, man. I, I believe in life, success in life come from at home. I've always done that. I've dealt with a lot of kids throughout my life. And what I love about you and a lot of the guys we played with, y'all's parents raised y'all the right, right way. Like I say, I never came there and looked at us a certain way. Y'all made our lives. And a lot of guys went up, uh, left Iowa Lakes and never played another down. And all they remember is Iowa mm -hmm. Lakes. So with that being said, man, I, I really appreciate you. Uh, you a brother, <laughs> man. Color don't mean nothing to you. It don't mean nothing to me. But I really appreciate you digging down and doing the things you did. Because like I said, Lyman, y'all never get no credit for anything, man. And I always felt like y'all deserved that credit. You know what I mean? So, like, every time I would score or Tim would score or whoever would score, you know, we had an arsenal of team. Y'all protected mine very well. I just love the fact that y'all would run down there, man, and, and, and congratulate it and, and celebrate with me, man, and with us and with them. And I, I don't forget that, man. So, to the day I die, man, I really appreciate your friendship. I really appreciate you uh, finding them, them videos. You know, that's the only thing left of me in my mind because I had a whole bunch of them, but for some reason they got – taken, stolen, et cetera. But to see that, man, my daughter was just kind of laughing and like, daddy, that's really you and things like that. Cause I don't say very much. I don't go tell people, oh, I'm this, oh, I'm that. Right. I've always been a kind of like laid back, kind of chill kind of guy. But for my old lady, my, my wife, and for my folks to go see that stuff, man, it, it felt good for them to watch and kind of look and see, you know, you know, why football was so important to me in my lifetime. So my bond with my brothers, man, y'all, uh, I really appreciate that, man. So I say, you know what, well, we, we talked about, you know, a month ago about doing this, I say, hey, man, let me let me go talk about you guys. Um, let me go ahead and um, let me go ahead and uh, get y'all on uh, Zoom. And then let's put up a highlight. And you made that happen. So thank you from the bottom of my heart, man, for doing that, man. So we'll forever be brothers, man. But with that being said, uh, let me know about your family real quick before we you know, get out of here. Talk about your family and the people that, you know, you want to, you know, because they're going to watch this, man. I want you to celebrate those people that's in your life right now today. And because uh, they made somebody amazing. You're an amazing dude, Dan. 
So I want you to celebrate them if you don't mind this last few minutes. Yeah, no problem. Uh, to give you a little background, you know, even to kind of run down where, where things have been since Iowa Lakes and the day that we got out of there, I left probably after that last semester that we played after, after that Cola Bowl. I finished out the semester. I came home, got to work. I've been in Waterloo ever since then. I started coaching uh, junior high level, I think uh, a couple years later, one or two years later at the latest. I think I was 20. Um, I've, I've been doing some of that all my since then. Good for um, you, man. I've been at the high school level, been at the third grade level, the fifth grade level. I've got two kids. Uh, one, my daughter is a sophomore. My my boy is uh, he's an eighth grader, going to be a freshman coming up. Congrats to you, man. Uh, so he's going to be getting into that high school ball. More than likely, um, I don't know if I, right now, I don't know if I'm helping out with that or not. I know Coach and I have talked about it. I'm not going to do junior high. I've done that for the last If you got the years. time, man, you should, man. If you got the time, man, I would. If I were you, well, if you got the time, I would suggest it. Is, you know, the time is, there's a ton of time to do it right. And mm -hmm. so that's always been my biggest, my biggest hang up. Do I have the time um, to do it right, to do, it, to do justice to the, to the program, what it needs. But anyway, uh -huh. so that's coming up. Um, been, you know, I've, I got, when I came out, I got into some heating and cooling. My, my wife, Tammy, um, I own my own business now. And, and Good Tammy you, and I own a bit of that. So That don't surprise uh, me, man. You've always been a smart, sharp dude. That don't surprise me, man. I'm, I'm, that don't surprise me, Dan. <laughs> I, I don't know if that was a smart move or not. It might, I, it will, time will tell whether going into business for yourself. Hey, man, there's no, there's no better feeling than working for yourself. You're your own boss. You get what you put into it. So for you to do that, man, congrats to you. And, hey, uh, talk about your business, man. So we can uh, let's. It's gonna be to the world, man. Let's 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 help you. Let's celebrate you, man. I, you know, I still know people every all over the world, but talk about your business a little bit, man, so that we can you know help a brother out. Yeah, no problem. It's a in a it's a small heating and cooling company uh, in town here. Um, we you know we do we fix air conditioners and furnaces and install stuff like that in the commercial cool. and residential world. Um, you know, we I, like I said, I've been. I've been doing this type of work since since I left Iowa Lakes, which was nine, I believe ninety eight was when I, no ninety six would have been when I started in the trade. So, you know, I've been doing that a long time. It's made a good right. living for me. Uh, I'm not I'm not uh, I'm not Oprah Winfrey by any means, you know. Right. So I'm not doing that. But, uh, uh, definitely, you know, I'm able to live, I'm able to eat. So uh, that's been good for a guy that that uh, wasn't didn't go the furthest in college, but. Um, I always tell people it's kind of funny. College got done with me before I got done with it, but um, and, and that's fine. It's been great. I have no no regrets. Um, you know, I, my parents are still still alive. Um, they live to in that, man. Good for you. Them. That's really cool, right so, there. Yeah. So you know, my my kids get to grow up with their grandparents uh, real close. You know, my uh, wife Tammy. You know, she um, she's from down south, a couple hours, about straight south of us, and mm -hmm. so we get to get down there, see her parents. Cool, We're going man. down tomorrow. Yeah, so everything is going good like that. Um, you know, I can't complain. You know, and and it, and that's good. It's it's uh, you got to see that everything's good in this world, man. It's good. Hey, it's man, that's fun. what it's all about, man. I just wanted you to give thanks to the, the things that God gave you, man. And you're having a great family and doing what you've done for so long, man. I knew you'd be successful, man. And in my heart, you're still a stud. You're still a champ, and I really appreciate you uh, having my back on that line, man. So, and thank you for getting all this footage together, man. We're definitely gonna all visit and figure out a time we can try to get together, man. We're all. You know, I, I knew the day would come right here where we would be older. Uh, we always talked about our uncles and dads and older people talking about how good they were and things like that. So now here we are in their shoes, man, older in our 40s. And uh, so now it's finally here. So here we are now uh, just reminiscing on the past. And there was some really, really good moments. Mr. Dan Knipp, man, I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. And all the guys, I speak for them as well. Thank you so much, man, for being a good brother to us when we came to that town. Thank you so much for being a good brother as a captain on that team. And thank you so much for the footage, man. We definitely got our numbers. We'll keep in touch, man. And I really appreciate you, man. It's so much brotherly love, man. Yeah. Again, man, thanks for reaching out. Thanks for putting some of that stuff together. Thanks for sparking it. And, you know, it was a great time in our lives. It really was. It was a, um, it was was a time man. that some of the craziest things in the world happened and some of the greatest things in the world happened. Right so. Was, uh, you know, for some reason, we were all brought together in, in that time and that moment. Right. Good for you. Well, with that being said, y'all, thank y'all here. Support Dan. Uh, Mr. Dan Knipp, one of my favorite players, man, one of my better linemen. Man, I thank you for having my back. Otherwise, I don't know if I would have been able to last through that damn defense we had because they was too damn good. But uh, thank you so much, man, for doing this, man. We'll definitely revisit real soon, Dan. Have a good one, brother. All right. All right. Sounds good. good. Thanks, Coco.